physical abuse. And what happens in the long run, and the plan is, get the kids under our UN Black Gov control. So make it so stringent on the homestead, the household, that we can arrest them for just about anything and then take their kid. That's what they want. And then they'll train the kid in the way they want. The master's armies. Our little children. Growing big. And because you daddy or you mama had yelled at them, they now have people that don't yell at them. But love them. And teach them in love. And teach them to hate anybody but them. This is a Gestapo type thing. It really is. I, I'm sorry, it really is. When uh, I think Clinton, I think it was Clinton, was president. There on the front page it said, uh, uh, so I'm writing the headlines, I'm trying to remember the exact, uh, uh, I can't, I can't remember it. But it disappeared. It was one day. And it disappeared. Wanted to take foster children and put them in UN care. Isn't that sweet? Now they're trying to make foster children and then put them in UN care. And you will bow down to these little kids growing up like brown shirts of Germany or the killing fields of Cambodia. Kids killing the adults and stuff. Kids into control. Right now it's making it very legal and very, very easy for the children to be in control. Our courts in the vision, I didn't write that down. Holy mackerel. What is good is bad. What is bad is good. And you've all seen that. The worst of people are getting off with, a, at best, a, a slap. And somebody that has his rights abused are told to shut up or we'll figure out something and you'll just be SOL. You all know that. Think about what you're knowing. We are being controlled and this whole vision was showing what Dad needs to do to square us away if we don't do it ourselves. Sheer idiocy. Just idiocy. And you are part of those idiots. Think about it. I'm part of it. I don't like saying that. I'm no godly saint. I got my problems. But at least I'm aware of it and I work on it. I in the vision, I watched the Hawaiian Islands raise up during this terrible volcano time. I mean, it grew in size. And uh, surprisingly, most of the islands I did see in the world, islands just covered with water, sank. Not the Hawaiian Islands. But at the same time, I was showing a younger governor Oh, I don't know, he looked maybe 47, but he might have been 55. But a younger guy, good-looking guy, and this guy is bad news. He allows a mafia of whatever, Russia or Italian or whatnot, to come in and set up all kinds of things. It becomes a pleasure island for sinful people. And, and boy, this guy is just something else. And he's, uh, if you would, he's the main cause of the fall of the Hawaiian people. Not the island, but the Hawaiian people. Leading those good astray. Again, the bad will far outnumber the good. And the good, just to be able to go outside and have dinner out, they, they got to pretend to be half bad themselves. And uh, 
afraid to be good, afraid to be a light in the darkness. And Dad doesn't like that. You're not trusting Papa. You're just trusting your own thoughts on how to survive. Daddy doesn't like that. I saw a great lake, like flat land, underneath the Seattle Puget Sound water area, like that, and like it's all carved under by water. So here's this big, thick hunk of land. Break towards the shore and go like that. And as it went like that, it went like that, scooping. And the, and the ocean and stuff, you know, it's up, it has to go up, and it goes up and up and up and up. And it wipes out Seattle, it wipes out the, the the higher west coast, other I don't know about Alaska, but uh, Seattle, Everett, and stuff like that, down towards Oregon. I don't know how far down uh, towards Oregon this happened, but I saw it happen here. The shelf breaks off, and our scientists, if they're aware of it, they're not saying anything, but it, an earthquake causes it to break, and, and it slides towards the Pacific Ocean and creates this, this giant shock wave that rises higher and higher, so high that the waters flow through Snoqualmie Pass and into the area of eastern Washington. And then down, the, the land that I'm at is pretty high. I got 9.21 acres. Well, that wave was 40 acres over my high part. When, I, when it all settled down, I had less than a quarter acre on the high part, a tiny little flat island, not very far off the water either. But it goes inland breaking uh, because, of, you know, when all this great water suddenly is coming to rivers and stuff, collides and the river is back up and the dams break and that collides and just terrible hobic. And this does not end until the waters Finally, the breaking up and crashing just on the eastern edge of Spokane, Washington, and down in towards Idaho and stuff. If you want oceanfront property, I would suggest that you buy some land oh, in the far eastern edge of Spokane's area. And uh, you're going to have it. But can you imagine all the death that that's going to take with it when it comes? All the people washed away. You think this Tosomi is something? This Tosomi was a friendly gesture on our dad's part about what is going to happen to everybody on coastal areas, etc. And not just coastal areas, but Mississippi River, Great Lakes. There ain't no more Michigan when this is all done. Not much of any area over there is above water, down into Ohio and lower down. Our earth is going to change so drastically, it's unbelievable. Is it going to be because of this one shelf breaking? Mm -mm, that's just part of it. But just because you decide to live out there next to some lovely little flotsam of a creek or a river instead of on the east coast or west coast and say, see, I'm safe. Buddy, I tell you the truth, that little meandering creek is going to get dang big when all of a sudden the floods come and the waters have to stop. And as they stop, there, there's nothing stopping the background from pushing forward. But it can't go forward, so it spreads out. Our land is just, I tell you, when everything is over, everything is over. There's, at, at the very best, one half of America from the Canadian border on down to Florida and stuff. Still in existence where a man can walk without getting wet. Our land is something else. I saw in the Great Vision a giant mountain-sized meteor coming. I, I guess it's a meteor. It was burning and it was hot.